Hi class 12. Uh, one thing I forgot to tell you all that is regarding unit of L. That is the unit of coefficient of self induction or self inductance. So, uh, self inductance according to definition is E di by dt. Okay, the change, in, the rate of change of current so to say in the denominator. Okay, this can also be written as minus E divided by delta I upon delta T if the change in time is a long change in time. Now, since we are only concerned with the magnitude of L here, so we will write L is modulus, inside modulus delta I by delta T. We can also write this, mind you. Okay, so basically from the definition of self-inductance, we see self-inductance is EMF divided by the rate of change of current. So, the unit of L, so to say, is the unit of EMF is volts divided by a capital V divided by change in current is divided by an ampere. Okay, the unit for change in current is ampere and the change in time is measured in seconds. Now since we have a fraction in the denominator, so therefore this S goes to the numerator, so we can write volt second per ampere. So the unit of self-inductance is volt second per ampere. Alright. So remember this can also be written as capital W small b divided by ampere because volt second is Weber where Weber is the unit of magnetic flux mind you so we get this unit from another definition of self-inductance also so we'll see self-inductance was the magnetic flux divided by the current this was the initial definition of self-inductance we started with ok so magnetic flux is Weber measured in Weber and current is measured in ampere. So here, okay. So to say, this definition of self-inductance and this definition of self-inductance are basically the same. All right. So both the definitions are basically the same, mind you. Now, Weber or ampere is what is called, or what is rather denoted by a capital H. Capital H itself is called Henry. Okay, of course, comes from the name of a person. So therefore, so to say, SI unit of capital L is Henry, which is of course denoted by a capital H, and Henry is whole second per ampere. Alright, so this is the unit of self-inductance. Now we will discuss mutual inductance also. Alright, now you will also see that mutual inductance denoted by a capital M. Okay, of course, we'll have the same unit, Henry, because it basically is EMF divided by the rate of change of current, mutual inductance also.